I have a confession to make. I have never solved a Rubik's Cube in my entire life. But I think tonight will be the night because God damn it, I'm getting so frustrated. Like it, it's, it's starting to like get me a little upset with myself because I'm like, this is probably one of the easiest things I could have ever tried to figure out. And now so many years later, I still haven't figured one out. And it's like, I have all these Rubik's cubes in my house, this being the cheapest style. I haven't solved them. Tonight's the night, baby. It's still falling apart. Like what the hell is going on with it? I'm actually thinking about just busting it. Uh, we, we have more Rubik's cubes. Th this was just a part of cheap fidget toys that just fall apart. So I've been thinking about like destroying it, but first I want to solve it. So I got my trusty sidekick camera two right here. So that way y'all can get a better view of what there is to come. And then I was looking for some videos that might be able to help me. And I did come across easiest solve the YouTube channel that I guess shows you the easiest solving methods of things. So if you guys want to learn some stuff and if this is good enough to teach me, then uh, the link will be down in the description. I don't know how you did it, but somehow you stumbled upon the easiest way to solve a Rubik's Cube. I just searched how to solve a Rubik's Cube and you showed up. There's not really like a big secret to it, bro. I've seen tutorials out there and they are great at solving Rubik's Cubes, but not so great at teaching someone else how to do it. I'll teach you slowly, step by step, so you don't get lost. You better. I'll teach you like an eight-year-old, just like I taught my son, who is an eight-year-old. In learning the Rubik's Cube, an important all right, part all right. is knowing... Now, now you're going for my self-esteem, so now I gotta be prepared. All right, what side am I on? For instance, this is the yellow side. Why? Because the center square is yellow. Oh yeah, the I center over square. Here, this mm -hmm. is actually the orange side, because the center is orange. Here is the blue side, and so on. Also, I know that the other side of the cube back here is green, because I'm green currently on is the white opposite side. of blue. Look, there's the green side. So look at the chart here. We've got blue and green. Are... Okay, so let me make sure that this cube is put together properly. So maybe we could do this right. If not, then I'm going to have to just say screw it to this cube. And I'll just go get another one of our cubes. We ha I think we have like two or three more. Okay, red is the opposite of orange. Orange, red. That is correct. Green is the opposite of blue. Okay, green and blue all right and then yellow and white all right cool dude look look at this shit the cube is not supposed to do that solve the daisy okay this is one that i've heard quite a bit about thing we're gonna do is start with the yellow side up yellow side you know is what side the yellow side is because the middle is yellow so yes, this is the yellow the side it's facing yellow up. is in the middle and then it doesn't matter what side's facing forward but we're going to focus on the top and the side facing us okay. again it doesn't really matter what side Sounds is facing good. you. I want That's you to imagine fine. that this yellow square is a yellow house. Okay. And a road goes all the way around this house. In fact, we can even spin the top and it's not gonna change anything. Go ahead and do that. Hold the bottom two layers and spin the top. Cause it's not gonna change anything. We're still gonna have a road going around it and the yellow I'm is I'm not still going in the to center. spin it so feel if there's no reason making to. That, not making that spin. There's also a road that comes down right here. This is a road. And over here on the left, this is a road. Mm -hmm. The middle is a median, which nothing can drive in. So there's pretty much a road everywhere except for right. this median and, of course, the house. The goal is to get our cars parked around the house. Yes. Here, here, Absolutely. here, and here. Once you do that, you have completed this step. So what are these cars? A car is a white square, as long as it's not a corner piece. This is, and it goes is a in the car, square hole. but if Sorry. I turn it over here, um, this is also a car, this is a car, but this one's not. Why? Because it is a corner piece. Okay. All right, so let's park the cars. See if we can even find a car, because our focus again is going to be the front of this and the top of this. Do we see a car? Yes, we do. It's right here. Yeah. So let's drive uh, him up. Uh, uh, okay, okay, okay. Shit, he moved too quick and... Freaking things were popping up. I found a car. I found a car, gamers. Oh shit! That that one was easy. Okay, is that oh, what I was supposed he to do? Right here next I bet to I just house. beat him on his own so game. So we simply can turn this side and park him where he belongs. Okay, I'm gonna take him up just by turning like that. And now he is. Oh parked. my god! Did you see like how his cube was moving? This has to be a brand new cube. Just a. <laughs> 
Okay, now we've changed the cube a little bit by doing that. So double check, is there any cars here? Actually, yes, there is. Now there's another car available. But if I try driving him up, I call that crashing the cars. So we're gonna have to- Okay, so you can't crash the cars. Well, I don't have an extra car right there, but I do have a car right here. Oh my God, that is so cool. I already got two of the cars. Oh, I found, I think the rest of them. I need one that's in, or I got two that are in the middle. Boom shot of luck. I already got the daisy, bitch. Hell yeah. I got the daisy and I got extra white pieces. To move them out of the way. Again, I said to feel comfortable with spinning this top. So we can spin it. Now is there a spot available? Yes, there is. Are we right just doing the house. daisy method so right now? now? I have completed the step. I have a completed daisy. It looks so beautiful, doesn't it? I know it does. Step two. In our previous step, we made the daisy. If you don't know how to make the daisy yet, then go to the description and click on Yeah, I already figured that out. This is orange. That's right. So all we have to oh. do is match up the pedal tips and then rip off the pedals. And here, the tip facing us is green. So we're going to hold the okay. top layer and we're going to turn the bottom two layers so that this green pedal matches the specific side. So we're looking for the green side. Okay. All right. All right. I got, I got the green side. Okay. Here, let me, let me make sure you guys can see this in all its glory. I got the green side, right? So I need to shift this until I got the green side, which I just found it, which that's right there. I'm a big boy. This is red. Let's keep turning. That's blue, orange. Oh, but and... wait, was I supposed to do that with, oh, I think I messed up. There's green. So now we've got two greens and that means we can now rip off that pedal. I'll put my- Oh, I haven't ripped here, off the pedal and yet. And my finger on the pedal and my finger and thumb will simply change places for a 180 flip. Okay, so pedal. And pedal. So let's 180 rip off flip. That pedal. 180 flip. Cool. All right, I did that. Now what? You see that Daisy now is missing a pedal. Let's look mm -hmm. at the next one. It's like this is already lined up, so this is convenient. We've got the red oh. pedal tip plus. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Is that what I'm supposed to do with the rest of them? All right. So that that's fine. That's fine. I I could do this. I could do this. Okay. So here is the white plus. And oh, these... that's what I did. That makes me happy. Corners don't matter, so you can cover these up. As long as you have that white plus, I do. you are done with step two. This is a pretty easy step, getting the white plus, but you can do it even faster if you remember the opposite colors. Remember when we learned about opposite colors on step one? Oh, for like God's sake. Like the video, sake. subscribe to the channel, go to the description. Most of the daisy done here. I, I, I don't want to do challenges, bro. Now we're going to completely solve the white side by finding and placing the white corners. I call the white corners lost dogs. These dogs are missing, and it's our job to find them. Yeah, I, I'm going to be happy to find those dogs because I'm telling you, I'm ready to solve this beast. Each of the dogs have a white face and a colored tail. On the cube, the dogs look like this. Here are the farmers that have lost their dogs. On the cube, the farmers look like this. Imagine that this cube is a hill, and on top of this yes. hill, there's four farmers, and they've got dogs, and one day the dogs wandered down the hill and got lost. So it's our job to find those dogs and return. These are some interesting analogies. I will say, like, anybody who does any tutorials on this, make sure to leave these analogies in there, because, like, th this is pretty damn good. And them home. I mean, these farmers have always helped us out. We've traded emeralds with them. They've given us golden carrots and bread. So we're going to help them find their dogs. Now, where are these farmers? Well, right here, there's the green farmer. He's got a white hat on. This is the red farmer. These two squares mm -hmm. and the white hat. Uh -huh. And this yeah. is the blue farmer. Yeah. And then we have the orange farmer right here. Yeah. So let's find mm -hmm. these dogs. Remember the Let's find the damn dogs already. I'm sorry. I shouldn't get mad. I apologize. Please forgive me. Dogs are white corners. And when you find them on the bottom layer right here, then that means they're ready to go home. So we're going to be looking at this bottom layer as we go right, around bottom the cube, layer now. bottom layer 
to try to find those dogs that are ready to go home first. So let's do it. Oh, it, oh, yeah. the the white corners. Okay, orange tail, orange tail, dog with the orange tail. All right. So white dog with orange tail. So what do we do? We're actually going to hold the bottom layer, and we're going to take him to the orange side, so that his tail is flush with the orange side. Okay. Wait, where's the orange side? Oh, I just need to rotate this bad boy up one. And then there's the orange, right? Son of a bitch. Hadn't seen this camera in a while because my other camera didn't just die or anything on me because it overheated. White dog over to the orange place. Let's hold this. Let's turn here. Now it's flush with the green side, which is not right. Keep going. And now the dog's tail is on the orange side, so this is correct. And remember that these two squares are the orange farmer. So he's really close to the orange dog right now. And when this happens, the dog hears somebody coming and he gets scared. Oh, the dog is getting scared. What a baby. So he could hide to the right or to the left. Which way okay. do you hide him? Well, there's a right way and a wrong way to do it. But it's really easy. Dogs don't move backwards. Dogs only walk forward. So you will walk him the direction that he's facing. Uh, yeah, that's right true. Right now, obviously, this is his face. This is his orange tail. So which way is he facing? In this case, he's facing to the left. So that's the way he hides. He always hides the way he's facing. So we're going to hide him right over there. So turn like that. Oh. So now the dog is hiding. The orange farmer goes down the... Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. How many turns? He always hides the way he's facing. So we're going to hide him right over there. So turn like that. So now the dog is hiding right here. And now the orange farmer, he comes down. He's going down the hill looking for his dog and he calls out his name. The dog recognizes the look at the orange farmer. He comes down. He's going down the hill looking for his dog and he calls okay. out his name. He does one the turn dog there too. The recognizes the sound of the farmer's voice and he comes out of hiding. And then together they go back up home at the top of the hill. Ah. Now that that's okay. done, all right. simply look all at the right. bottom Alright, I'm, I'm figuring this out. I'm figuring this out. This, is, this is not bad so far. Hey, okay, there's another one. This is a dog with a green tail. So this tail needs to be flush with the green Ooh, side because it's this green one's kind of messed up. So I'm going to hold this. We're going to turn it. And look, there's the green side already, so that's great. He's hiding to the right. Wait, hang on. I already have them on the white side. Now I'm confused. There's the green side already, so that's great. So now the tail is flush with the green side. And again, remember, these two squares, that's the green farmer. So he's really close. And so the dog hears him, but he's afraid. So he hides. Which way will he hide? Will he hide left or will he hide right? Here's whoa, his whoa, 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 whoa. Hang, hang on, hang, hang on there, sport. Okay, this one is confusing. Wait, why do I have another dog? I just put one dog in there, and now I have a whole other one that I haven't messed with. Jesus Christ. I, I screw up my farmer if I take him over to the green side. Mm, why is this so much harder than what it needs to be? This is going to be a multi-part video. <laughs> All right. Day two of trying to solve this stupid thing. I'm I'm getting really annoyed. I'm ready to break it, but I'm wanting to give it another chance. I'm gonna give this cube specifically another chance. And if I still don't get it, then this thing is gonna get busted and I'm gonna use a different Rubik's cube. Right, First thing we're gonna square. do is start with the yellow side up. Got it. You know what side the yellow side is because the middle is yellow. Boom. Daisy. Hang on a minute. I already have the three corners. Wait a minute. I remember this from last night. What might have is if the dog is on the bottom. It's really simple. Ah, you just yes. line the dog up to a free spot, which in this case, we've got four free spots. It doesn't really matter. But if all these were full and this one was empty, then you have to make sure to line up the dog underneath that free spot. Then you uh -huh. just push on that free spot. He's been moved to right here. So we're going to the dog underneath that free spot. 
then you just push on that free spot. He's been moved to right here. So we're going to twist him so he's out of the way. And now let's return our white plus. Let's restore that like so. Wait, wait, wait. But that, but that, that doesn't help either. Because now, because it was putting his tail up at the top and the dog was next to the farmer. So that, that doesn't help either. What? I'm, I'm so I'm, I'm so confused. Issue. Another issue you might have is if the dog is on the bottom. Yeah. It's really simple. You just line the dog up to a free spot, <laughs> which in this case we've got four free spots. It doesn't really matter. But if all these were full and this one was empty, then you have to make sure to line up the dog underneath that free spot. Then you just push on that free spot. He's been moved to right here. So we're going to twist him so he's out of the way. And now let's return our white plus. Let's oh, restore that wait, like but, so. but he's still with the farmer. Yeah, that, that, that's, what, that's what I'm saying. Then the red one is there. Wait, but hang on. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Dude, what? I am so lost. I, I don't understand what I am doing wrong this entire time. This is annoying me. This is so stupid. I'm gonna work on this one later, but for now, uh, I'm I'm gonna go destroy one because <laughs> this is annoying. Oh my god, I figured out the white side. Oh my god, I actually did it. Jesus Christ, I got the white, I got the white of the cube. Oh my god, thank god. Oh my god. Uh, thank god I got that on recording. Yeah, I'm recording, right? Oh, yes, yes, white side of the cube recorded, thank god. Okay, so, day three, I think, is what this is. And I'm hoping it's going to be the last day. But guess what? I solved more. I solved every top layer side over here. And I went back to this other dude, the easiest solve dude, because it's... I, I feel like I wasn't giving him a fair chance. I think that I, I owe him an apology. So, easiest solve, I am sorry that I was getting so mad that you weren't explaining it faster for me, okay? Last time, we brought our cube to this point. Today, yes. we're going to achieve 66%. the yellow plus. But yes. I want you to...
I am excited to achieve the yellow plus. I'm so excited, boy! I'm so ready to solve this damn thing. This I'm move so the close. The furry yellow plus. Why? Because I want you to remember that the moves for the yellow plus involve fur. Okay. Memorize this. F U R U R F. Do not continue -R -R until you have this memorized. To test to see if you. I don't need to memorize this shit. I'm just gonna pull it up on my goddamn phone. I got it memorized, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm ready. You have the F U R U R F memorized. Let me try to distract you. So take a look at this really cool item near my YouTube videos. Oh, it's Jesus Christ. With a no. Dollar and it's called no. Super Thanks. No. You can click and donate to no. my channel. This is a... We're going to do the first the clockwise moves, those three clockwise moves, which so. are front, then the up of the cube or the top, then the right, moving that clockwise, up Whoa. of the cube, which were Oh, front. clockwise. So I did that. Yes. Then the up of the cube or the top. Clockwise. Then the right. Moving that clockwise. Clockwise. Then we do the counterclockwise. The up. Uh huh. Then the uh -huh. right side going counter. Okay. All right. All right. All right. I'm I'm understanding. Hey, I already got the plus. You see, <laughs> bro. I just had to do it one time. I already got the plus. That's awesome. Day. Here I got uh -huh. the plus. I call this the clean plus because there's no um, yellows on the corner. But it's okay. If you get a yellow or two on the on the sides, that's fine too. But it's not always going to be this easy. So let me show uh, Well, I, I don't care if it'll... Orientation on uh, that image. It needs to be pointing up and to the left. So we just need to turn the top. Now the boomerang is pointed. All right, the line. Take a look. What do you think? Yeah, it's the line. That's the line. So all oh, we have he's to do just is make using examples now. On the ground. It is the boomerang. It's right there. Wait, it uh, is that all I was doing? Was the yellow plus? Okay, well, shit. Last I'll... time we solved the yellow plus. Yeah. If you clockwise, I would turn it like this. All right, yellow plus. Counter means counterclockwise. Yes, turn the, I, I, I know. Turn the, before we do the moves for the yellow fish, let's take a look at the top of the cube. What pattern do we have? And does it match? Two blue, two green. That, that, that's what I got. I got the here. same so exact this pattern one is called as you. The clean plus. Yes. You get this one. Make sure that these two dots are moved to the left side, like so. Counter. Remember, we start on the right, and then go to the top, right top. So we're gonna do it like this. So clock, clock, counter. So clock, clock, oh. counter. Clock, clock, flip, clock, flip, flip, counter, counter. Oh, this is confusing. All right. And we have the fish. Pointing to the top ah, left. Ah, okay, I got the fish so now. So we need to bring that here to the ah. bottom left. So, and we've already got the fish food too. That means we are about to solve it. Wait. And we, so we need to bring that here to the bottom left, like so. It's pointing to the top left. So we need to bring that here to the bottom left, like so. And we've already got the fish food too. That I do have the fish we are food. About okay. To solve it. Sometimes you get the fish without the fish food. Uh, One, but when you two, get the, three. the fish with the fish food, right. then you're about to solve. I'm, I, dude, I'm, I'm so giddy. I'm about to solve this bitch finally. So we do the fish moves once again. Yes. Starting on the right, clock, clock, counter. Wait. Starting on the right, clock. Wait, clock, hang on. Count in. Starting on the. All right, I need to start like this. Okay. The right, clock, clock, clock. clock counter oh my god i got the yellows <laughs> i got the yellow side of the cube step seven come on we, we gotta do it with the rest of them oh my god it, no star wars shit um, counter clock counter flip okay hang on a minute hang on hang on hang on all right got it this with the yellow side up now turn it to any side and just look for instance these corners are green and orange if you do this correctly, if you unlock the cube correctly, 
these two colors will match. Right now it's green and orange, they need to match. Over here, same with this, blue and green, these don't match either. So what we need to do is find one that matches. Here we go. So we've got two reds. This is a matching side. This side is done. I don't have... So we're going to take it to the red side. I don't have a side that's time. done. This is bullshit. And now it's on its own side. This is the most completed side. You always take the most completed side and you move it to the back. If you don't oh, have the okay. most completed side, don't worry. Just move on to the next part here. Wait, I have two most completed sides. What the hell? Place your thumb on the left side. There is a biometric scanner here. Since you are the hero, it will unlock and allow you to turn the cube around your thumb. But you okay. must do this in the right oh order. Oh my god, dude. Can you please just get on with it? This is so cringe. Start with the right side. We always start the sequence on the right side. Then we go to the bottom of your thumb. Then we come back here and then go to the top. And it'll just keep going forever around your thumb. But this pattern starts with right, then the bottom, and it comes back to the right and the top, and again, it just keeps on going around your thumb. Now we just need to apply those ancient passwords. Counter. Okay, a counter. Lock. Counter. How do I do flip? Clock. Counter. Flip. Oh, oh, okay, all right, all right. Woo, we're getting somewhere, dude, look at this. I have, I have the whole, I just solved red. I just solved red. Oh my God, now I just have one more. Dude, I'm going to solve this bitch. Hey, okay, completed Taking side my done. replicated cube, and I put it in the same position that your ancient cube is currently in. No, you didn't, because mine is more solved than yours. Congratulations, you did it. You are so close to solving the Rubik's Cube. I hope these videos made learning the cube easier. Okay, come on. The pattern for the final move is right top. So just imagine right this pattern top. goes on forever. But the most important thing is that you remember the pattern starts on the right. Yes. All the moves for the three by three, the pattern yes, starts Yes, I am on so right. ready. I am so ready. All right, so let's solve so the Rubik's ready. Cube. First thing you do is look at the sides and try to find the most completed side. For instance, this red. one would be it. Red is so the most completed. We're move it to the back. Turn that to the back like that. Turn to the back. And hold it like so. And then we're going to do those moves. Now, just so you know, the reason for these numbered uh, moves, like clock one, clock two, counter one, counter two, it's because I, for me, I was losing track of which one I was on in a row and so many clocks in a row. Now, for me, you don't have to. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. This this is going to be awkward as hell. Flip. Flip. Clock one. Clock two. Clock three. Counter one. Counter two. Counter three. Counter four. Counter five. Clock. Counter. Okay, now we just take a look at what happened. Still not solved. Still not solved, but it's getting close, dude. Is in the back there. Just there, That's there, fine. there, there, there. So we're gonna there, put it back there. the way we had it, and then we do it again. Okay. Flip. Clock one. Hmm. Clock two. Clock three. Counter one. Counter two. Counter three. Counter four. Counter five. Clock. Counter. There we go. <gasps> and then we solved it. So now you can take it. Oh my god! I fucking solved it! Fucking solved it! Are you happy? Are you happy with me? I finally learned it! I did it. I solved it. Flippin' did it. I did it. I did it. I did it. I did it. Yes! Oh my god. Now I can post this and I will never have to solve a Rubik's Cube again. <laughs>